Hello YouTube, thanks for watching another video from iPod.Shipper09 um, Today I'm going to be showing you how to load um, a web view using an activity indicator in your application An activity indicator is a small ball or a thing that um, loads or go like this, spinning around um, when the website is loading So you probably guys want to use it because sometimes Apple wants you to uh, have something that, for the customer so they can see that it's loading actually So Let's go ahead and get started. Go to Xcode, new project. Let's choose a view based application. Um, let's name it UI, UI Activity Indicator. UI Activity Indicator. Save that. And let's go to the classes. And let's go to the UI Activity. Uh, vcontroller.h so over here we're going to do some IP outlets for our app IP outlet your activity uh, indicator view stars uh, tv indicator Close that a new IP outlet for the website for UI web web uh, wait web view and yeah, let's name um, declare it as a website. Let's do an NS timer quickly NS timer and declare it as a timer. There we go. Save that. Let's go to the U activity activity indicator v control dot m and enter twice over here. Um, I'm gonna just really quick copy and paste. I mean paste the code because uh, I don't have too much time. Um, I was recording, so uh, it took me longer. So I need to do it really short. So let's go ahead and um, paste this. So let's go ahead and quickly explain this. Let's do a website add sub view activity indicator. So, the website, that's the web view, we want to load a request. So, the NSURL request, request with URL, NSURL with string, and this is going to be a website. I'm going to change it to um, a little bit um, more size of it. So, let's launch my website. For designing apps. There we go. Um, here we here say timer and a timer schedule a timer with interval target self select your ad select your loading. You can take a look at it. Void loading if website. If I'm going too fast, you can stop over here and pause it and take a look at the code. Okay, guys. Now once we've done that, we're ready to go to the interface. Let's open the UI Activity Indicator ViewController.xib our NIP file located in the resources iPhone. So let's wait until the interface come up. This should be over. Here. Oh yeah, it's over here. So let's go quickly and get started. Okay. So first you want to add a view to it. Every time you do this, you need to add a, um, for every website or, I mean, UI web, you need to add a view. So uh, drag now from the library. If you know how to do um, open the library, go library, I mean, tools. The library or inspector, if you need, or all the, all of this. So yeah, let's do UI web view over here. Let's make this a little bit smaller because we want to do some controls to it, so you can um, um, hit back and other options. Let's do back for this. Let's duplicate it. 
or ward if you know how to duplicate do command D. So let's do a custom identifier. Uh, it's refresh. And this will be for stop. Let's do a flexible spacebar. Let's put it over here. There we go. You can let me just change the color. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So let's resize this back again. Now, let's get every, everything done in the interface. Drag an activity indicator view to it. And now you want to select the hide when stopped. So you want to do large white or the size or the color that you want to use for the... Um, web view so it's right now in the center you can select gray if you want to whatever you want but let's do a big one so you can understand it so let's go to file zoners quickly and um, add an activity indicator I mean activity indicator over here now for website drag it to the web view so, why do we have a warning over here? Let me see what's going on over here because. I don't know why. Never mind, let's see what's going on over here. So, yeah, now select the uh, web view and do this for each of the buttons so there we go let's go interface file I mean file I mean not save as sorry guys my bad save interface builder quit let's try to build and run we should not have any errors I get the warning, but you know what? I don't know what's in there. Okay, let's see. Can I find the declaration? Maybe controller. Looks like we typed something wrong. Oh yeah, sorry guys, it was my bad, so I accidentally delete something, but you should not get any of those errors, because I just delete a letter O over there, oh, need to do iPhone simulator, we're ready to go, sorry guys for this delay, just delete that thing over here, so let's get on this so as you guys can see over here you guys can see that there's the loading screen loading if I select another one you will have the loading screen over there you're gonna go back we'll go back and forward Can select the portal. So pretty much that's what it does. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Um, please subscribe, comment, and um, leave your comment. Thanks for watching.